nourishment before I get my car painted. Drew, Drew, I love Drew, but I don't really know Drew. So I don't know what I'm gonna Drew on his car. I met Drew when I moved to Los Angeles. You know how some people in LA are like, uh, who are you? Like, what do you do? Who are you? What do you come from? What are you wearing? Well, Drew was like that, but like really nice about it. Like really so sweet. I've always driven a white Volvo and people have kind of always been like Drew, white Volvo, synonymous. I think Peggy has such fantastic taste that I am giving her complete free reign over my car and letting homegirl do whatever the hell she wants. Did he just say I could do whatever I want? My vulva is gonna be in her hands. Hey, Drew! Hey, Peggy! Get in, girl. Uh, yeah. You sure about this, Drew? Never been sure of anything in my life. It's too late now. <laughs> oh, no. We're out! told me I could do whatever I want. Uh, that scares me. So I went snooping on his Insta and he's got a lot of Fido Dido. You remember Fido Dido? Fido was created by two women. Of course, Joanna Ferroni and Sue Rose. I just Googled it. It says he was first developed in 1985 on a napkin in a restaurant. Keep some napkins around. He has a credo that says Fido is against no one. That sounds exactly like Drew. Let's Fido his Dido. So when I saw his off-white Volvo, I thought that the thick black lines would be a really effective paint job on the existing body color of his car. I want to make sure the lines look crisp and that it looks like a clean job. Before I begin painting, I'm going to trace my design on with a dry erase marker. Um, and then I think I'm going to try to just paint right on top of it. Uh, but check to make sure on a little secret location maybe on the inside of the door or something that the dry erase will come off of your car especially if it's a light colored because on some finishes so just make sure this part's on the driver's side door so it kind of looks like you can see through his door and he is fido dido get it Don't get my okay here we go I'm just using plain old Rust-Oleum black oil paint from the hardware store. I chose oil paint because it seems like it might last a little bit longer. Because we're not sanding Drew's car, we're going straight to paint. So I hope that is the right decision. You know what's really cute? Hmm. Is that you're wearing the same shoes. As what? Oh, <laughs> the ones yeah. you're painting. That's right. <laughs> Sometimes inspiration comes right from your own feet. All my black lines are done, so now I'm gonna go back in and give it some color. I'm not gonna do too much color, just in a few couple spots to give it some personality. I'm using one-shot paint. It's super vibrant and pretty opaque, doesn't take many coats. It goes on real smooth. Like Tina says, it's like painting with nail polish. Oops. Went a little out of bounds there, get it, basketball? Oh, great. I just fouled up this line. Oh, that looks good. I'm using oil paint because I think that oil paint is more weatherproof than latex paint in this context. But I mean, they use latex paint for like outdoor houses, so it's like definitely weatherproof too. I think it was just the right choice for this design for this car. Maybe that's the only reason. I don't know if there needs to be another reason. It looks good. Everything's 
taken several coats, which is time consuming. Gotta let the layers dry in between. Drew's been without a car for about a week, um, so I'm sure he'll be happy to get his ride back. I hope, I hope, I hope he likes it. If we could get Dido here. Your tears don't cold, you're wondering why. Got out of bed at all. The morning face down at my window. And I can't see it all. And even if I could, it would all be great. Put your picture on my wall. Cause it reminds me that it's not so bad. That was really me trying to sing. That was me actually trying to sound good. <laughs> yeah, he's here. I don't know if you can tell, but I am really so nervous about this one. How are you? I'm so excited. You feeling good? Yeah, I feel so good. Your life's about to change, dude. Whatever. This is it. Your life's about to start. Actually. How did it go? It went fabulous. Yeah. I don't know Drew well enough to know for sure that he will like this, so I am nervous about his reaction. Come on, let's go get you ready. Oh, yeah. I put a lot of heart and energy into the car, and I feel like he will appreciate the spirit of the paint job. If Drew doesn't like the paint job, I will cry, I will recover, and then I'll fix it for him. I feel so crazy right now. I like the car. So that's all I'm going on right now. I like it. See, you can see I'm nervous. Okay, Drew, on the count of three, uh -huh. open your eyes and check out your car. One, two, three! Oh my God! Oh my God! So I tried to do a few little illusion bops on Drew's car. Bouncing my balls all the time. Like try to make it a little more clever than just paint on a car. So I have Fido like grabbing on to that bumper and then pulling down the windowsill. It's Drew's world, we're all just living in it. And then some on the hood. Yeah, this is the more hood. than like I could even dream, imagine, like. Oh, you did it! Um, I'm elated. I can't believe it. Thank you for letting us do this, Drew. Seriously. Thank yes. you. <laughs> Snaps Peggy. He's so cute. It's been years. Years. Simply years. Um. And... She's still shining. Still shining bright. How's it been? This car has changed my life. Is so that thank true? You. Are it, you no. just saying that? No, I... Okay, because I have to admit, when you saw your car, I like feel like, did he actually like it? I remember my stomach dropped, like just dropped, and then it set in, and then I felt like so lucky. Oh, true. <laughs> thank I've, you. And I've remained that feeling all through driving it. Drew, yeah. we love you. We love Thank you, you too. so much. This was the best. Fido. Fido. Thank we you. love you, Fido. We love you too. Hang on for dear life, baby. You're going for a new ride now. <laughs> yes. Yes. And. Yes. Yes. And. Yes. And.